All right. Whew. I'm back to where I was with Callie the other day. Um, it's way more confusing than I thought. Like, trying to find that actual tree is proving to be extremely hard. Like, I remember how we did it, even though I forgot it all until I saw the video and then it came back to me. We, we came through there somehow. Somewhere within 300 yards up or down, we walked this way. And I thought I remember after filming him, we both kind of wandered this way and then out. Like really just kind of in outer space. Dan, it took Dan five days or so to get better. His wife wanted him to go to the hospital because <laughs> he was like a walking zombie. His brain never stopped out of it. I wonder if I did because I actually saw the footage that day. I always know when something's looking at me. I could, I didn't say anything, but I could feel it. It's just staring right at me. Shapeshifter. I'm kidding. You have no idea the timestamps I get near these deers. He just looked clearly at something in front of him that moved. I heard it as well. see what he does. I'm also using his ears for any other noise around us. See, even if he's used to the Sasquatch, if one moves, he's going to react. So far right now, it's just me. The only reason I came back here today already was because of all the timestamps we got in here. You know, this isn't where I would think to film for Bigfoots, sorry. In here, this is, he's still looking at me by the way. This is next to it all. And you'll see all your signs, like it's all here, but just really, really discreet. And then, oh, for some reason they spent all the time in here. These ones anyway. He's still there. Hey, sweetheart. I always call she's he's, but I know I know it's a doe. She. Let's go make her move. Hey, sweetie, it's okay. Oh, she ran anyway. Forget it. <laughs> so much for the talking nice. Okay. So here we go. Really, really discreet. You know, hang out. Boom. Look at look at the circle. It's great. Look at this. It just it just kind of. So they didn't do their blatant box, although it kind of is one, you know? It's like a natural one, sort of. And it doesn't look like, oh yeah, look at that, there's a footprint right there. Right there, they stand right in the middle of it. I don't get it. I just stepped on two, I just ruined them, two footprints right there. And the serve, all the service is through here as well. Now the deer was just here. That's not what I'm seeing. Sasquatch. Enoch. Alright, wait a minute. So, so far, a complete fail as far as finding that spot. It all looks the same to me in here. I really thought I could get out of the car, walk into the woods, and find it. Like I've been I kind of memorized it all winter. I'm like, oh my god, I can go back there so fast, so easy. And I got in here and it's a completely different story. Things change in these forests. And even though they don't really do stuff in here, they do. Like weird stuff, and I can't really figure out where they are. And uh, honestly, I don't even care. I mean, it'd be cool to zoom into that spot. It's not even a big deal if I don't find it. But I kind of think that's a great area to be zooming in. I'm also looking for a spot that I was zooming in on yesterday that I got a big, huge Bigfoot. Oh my God, his face is so good. I didn't put it up. Also, Kyle Jackson was getting a bunch, and same with YouTube. Um, there's quite a few timestamps on 
Big Foot Universe 2017 um, already. And you know, they're, it's nothing great. They're, they're invisible. It's hard to get them. Um, in those pictures, I see them perfectly. I try to extract, see it good, and then you upload. You know, it gets, starts getting blurry right away because it's already blurry. And I don't want to explain it to people. So most of my pictures, I just keep to myself. I got to figure out a way for Patreon to see the, all those. I want them to be able to see all the blob squabs. Let me say that again. Blob squatchy pictures and, and everything. So I wish there was a way to post on there. Look at this. This has really been disturbing here. So I figure if I can't find that spot. seeing a tree with a V in it yet. Look at right here. Oh man. That's a good one right there. Look at that. There's even, see there's the heel. There's even toes. It goes like this. And the toes, believe it or not, look, my, my foot's in the heel and the toes are all the way up here. That's like a, like a 23 inch footprint. Same thing here. It's all weird. And of course, you know, I wouldn't think anything of that, except that I got this, this blind thing here. Another one of their hangouts. So when I see the one I'm looking for, I think it's this way. Oh man, I'm telling you, I get, the, I get the vibes in here. You see this? This has all been made. Oh yeah, I was here last year. This is good. This is good. This is before. I'm almost sure. This is before. Yeah, I filmed this. You see this? Look how incredible that is. You won't even notice it walking by. You see this? That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trees with, it, with an inside. Look at that. More than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of this, like, like pile and you know and I remember seeing this last year and I knew for sure because you know they have all these in here you see this a fake branch they got uh, another one here fake branch this is clearly to stand here and just have a little view of that road this this was unique about this spot in Holy Cross we're so far away from any kind of town or anything but we're so yet so close to the dirt road that brings you up here so my guess is that dirt road just paved right through them. Well, we're not paved, but then they made it. You know what I mean? They came right through these guys. You know, the guy just got, freaking Sasquatch just got done building like a structure. It took him like three months. And here comes the bulldozer. Boom! You wonder why they don't like us. Thank God the bulldozer did come right now really get up here. Yeah, that's part of us, dude. That's part of being human. We need these roads. We need paper. We need firewood. And, you know, we need to learn how to share it with them. And I think we're doing a pretty good job from what I see, at least up here. We know we only take sections. This is a good place for timestamps. And if I ever get medicated for ADD, you guys won't recognize me. Maybe I'll say like three things. Got noise right where the camera's looking, actually. But I can't really. Can I see him there? What is that? <laughs> that looks like a face to me. Right there. It's probably pareidolia. I don't know. What is that brown face? It's like a half a face. I get a lot of half faces. It's probably just a tree. I don't see it anymore. I think it was just a tree. I know you guys think I'm crazy because when you're watching it, you can tell blatantly what it is. Okay, this is the spot. This is the area. This is where I filmed the Bigfoot. I should, I should eventually see a V tree. I want to see it again. I want to walk over there. I want to see behind it. I'm going to see. I bet you anything we find like 
you know, the same type of thing, like a hangout, you know. Because there's quite a few others. Everyone looks at the main picture because it's the only one that's really good. But if you really know what you're doing with, with Sasquatch pictures, you can see them all. I mean, in the background, they're, they're just blobby, but you know they're there. Think about a year ago, I didn't know anything about those pictures. Now, I feel like I'm, I'm really good at it. And like I said, I rely on a lot of people that help me to do it. I don't have time to watch my videos in slow motion and stuff. I don't have it. I gotta be out here doing this. So thanks to people like Kyle and Peter and Jason. Jason, I haven't seen you in a while, Vera. You need to end Parsons for that reason. Jason Parsons, let's go. You know, it gets, it gets all big. And he's too important for me now. So, we need Jason back. I mean, he's here, but just, he's just not quite as involved as he used to be. He's also busy with life, I think, and kids. See how it's different here? <clears throat> Let me show you, you got a stump pushed over. I'm not even gonna say they pushed it over, although by the size of all the dirt that's still on it, I'm gonna go ahead and say they did. And you got one coming over the top, and there's just no doubt about it. You got a, a, almost a brand new one laying that way. So this is them, This they're being very discreet here. They're not trying to put up any flags here. I'm guessing people do walk through here on the edge of the forest at, at certain times. And no one would ever know. You'd never know. I didn't, I wouldn't have known. I was looking for other places, I, you know. I got like the best structures in the world through that, through those woods uh, a thousand yards that way. So I was just trying to get to, you know, through this transition, which is what I call them. And that's when that happened to me. Oh, I think I found it. I didn't find the V, but I found where I filmed the Bigfoot yesterday. I'm not sure it's it. I didn't film them, I mean, I saw them in the picture. Hiding in this, you cannot see, even with the camera zoomed in. It's unpenetrable. It's just this black mass. It's like this black aura around them. And you couldn't see through. And if you looked really carefully, boom, there's the faces right there. I got one really good one and some other little ones that are questionable to me, like pareidolia, like, but at the same time, when you have a pretty good one, and then you're seeing little ones near it, most likely they're probably legit. This is it. Let's see, the harder it is to get near, this is like an alarm clock right there. The harder it is to get near, the better. I was here with Callie, because I recognize, what do I recognize? That one going up, I was standing down there. I mean, he stood right in front of me and looked at me once. Why won't he do it again? Literally challenged me. He was right in our path, right in our path. And just, just came up and just stood right in that V and just stared at me and made, made us go the other way. Like, what the heck? Do that again. I want to see that again. This time I'll fight it, you know? I'm telling you, I'm walking right towards him. I'm, I may not run up and touch him, but I'm gonna, I'm going right towards him because I want movement. I want to see you go away, or see you kill me. Whatever you gotta do, I want to see it. Hopefully, they can find my camera. And if they did, of course, you would never see the footage because, oh, we found him and it was an unfortunate bear accident. That's all you'd hear. I'm a little curious about this tree right here. I don't know if you see anything. I got this runner. It's clearly wedged between the two. And I can't help to think, you know, all the bark is off on this side, probably because of weather, but I can't help to think a little guy doesn't run up there. See all these little scuff marks, look. Let's go over closer to that. What a perfect place for a little one to run up. See that tree? It's completely unseeable at the top with my eyes at least, like up there. You cannot see in it up there. Those are the kind of places I look for. 
me check this runner. So what I got is a path that's through all this crap, right? It goes like this, like wham, bam. I'm not gonna say thank you, ma'am. Over here. And then look, you see these? You see these marks going up? There's clearly marks all the way up that, that tree. I can't see anything because of the sun. I'm gonna try to zoom in there anyway. I just feel like it's worth a shot, I don't know. Why else? There'd be a trail leading to it. <clears throat> I mean, I could even get up that if I had to. If I had to shimmy up, it would not be fun, but if I had to, I could. So with their abilities, that's no big deal at all. All right, bye. Right in here. So you got your leaners. All right, you always gotta look for your signs. I'm telling you, even when they're discreet, at least in my experience, you will never visually see a Bigfoot or film one without the signs. There's gonna be some sign in that picture, or if, unless you got real lucky and it's not in the picture, it's right near them. And I don't know why. I, they, they have to have their little thing, you know, or this, you know? It's gonna be something like that. It's gonna be something weird. It's like they can't be there without it. It could just be one stick leaning, but you know, that stick is important and they won't be there unless that stick's leaning. I'm just talking my way right in because I said they certainly know I'm coming into it. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so, oh yeah, this is so blatant. Now do you believe me? I filmed a Bigfoot right here from down there and I just zoomed in. I never, I was too far down. I didn't want to walk back up and I just saw this and it was just a black mass in here. You see that? Here's the thing, I feel like they can sit in there and watch me, but if I was to walk up in there, they, they can completely disappear into like this other dimension. I, I don't understand it. You're like you're not gonna pin, and the times I have feel like I've pinned one in the trees, they, they might not have that power, but they have the power to make me forget it happened. Or something did, so I'm getting a little nervous here, hold on. I got trails going right into there. Anybody home? Look at this. You see how unusual? You guys watched the video. I zoomed from two, the last video. I was right down there with Callie. I zoomed right to here. I was holding it. I was like, let me, let me use my tripod. I zoomed right in and boom, he's in there. And he could be in there right now. Oh yeah, look at all the new work. I'm a little nervous to stick my head in there, actually. Let's go see. I am and I'm not. Oh, maybe he was behind it. One sticking up too. I, I zoomed right in there. Right in there, from through there. Okay, so I was down there. I zoomed right in here. And there was a face right in here. Of course he's not here now. Of course he's not in here now. I don't know how they do it, it kills me. Look, another X on this side, on the back side. This is clearly something they did in here. The, this is where I feel like it's more homey. You know, you, I can lay in there and, and stay there all day. Give me some Netflix, I'm there all day. <laughs> you know what I mean? So th this is this is their this is more of a home. And then they go sit on those structures. I don't get it. I don't understand it. it, it it's starting to get better though. I tell you, I'm starting to get a better idea of what. Why do they come over here and live? And then have some sitting on structures for what seems like forever. 
with these perches, you know, I don't get it. Look. See how different it is here? It's like, look around. You know what I mean? It's like kind of, I'm way up in the Fort Holy Cross wilderness with this openness. And it's really weird. See, to me that looks like a game trail. See how they get real thin? When I tell you it's a Bigfoot trail, it's a Bigfoot trail. That looks like a little game trail to me. I think these deer, these mule deer, hang out in these structures because, and their homes, because the, the Sasquatch like them, they're like pets, and they're, they're safe in here. The mountain lions will not come in here, uh, at least to hunt, and if they do, I think they get pushed out really quick. I think they've killed their share of mountain lions. I have one situation where I think they may even have saved me from one. I'm not going to that right now. All right. It's really quiet again. I heard a thing. A lot of times, like that blind I was just in where I filmed that face. Um, when you get in, like, side, like, something like that, you'll then you'll get sounds other places around you because they don't want you in there like it'll give you it'll distract you from you know investigating further or just they just don't want you know, he doesn't want you in there guys i hope this isn't too boring um i'm doing this for a reason this is where they are man i'm really really getting far away from my car i didn't bring anything with me because i didn't realize how far i'd have to walk I do have protection on me, but I don't have like food or water or anything like that. All right, let me sit here for about 10 minutes. I've never been out on a failed Bigfoot expedition because they don't let me. It's failed as far as getting one. On, I see, actually, it's not failed because every single video I take has timestamps. Just about. And even when I'm not trying, like, ooh, there's a, that is crazy. Do you guys see that? I did not see that deer. Is he following me? I just happened to zoom in on that and a deer walked by. What are the chances of that? He's by himself and he's following me. I'm, so, I'm watching him right now. You probably can't see him. Hold on. I'm not going to zoom unless he stops. He's moving too fast. Okay, so he, he's on my same path I walked on. He's up here and he's going to circle me. And if I see him right there and he looks at me, I'm really suspicious of that. I filmed another deer recently and got all these incredible, I'm talking really good, you guys, timestamps, with a deer staring at me. They were all to the left of them. You know, something's up with the, with the mule deer here and them. Why is that a deer tracking me? That is nuts. Unless, for some reason, he saw me put food down last time and wants more? I don't know. That deer was right on my path, which is highly unusual, you guys. Usually, they, they do not follow people. It could be a freak incident, like he wasn't following me, but I don't think so. That's the same deer that I was filming earlier, and all of a sudden, he's behind me? You guys saw that I zoomed for a Bigfoot, and a deer ran by. Oh my goodness. I told you, it's always something new out here. There's always some, even if that had nothing to do with Bigfoot, that is, that's, that was pretty cool, that's exciting. like that. Oh my god, it's right next to me. I'm freaking out. It's doing that. What is going on, you guys? I got a deer following me. He should, believe it or not, he's right there through those on the other side of those bushes. He just stopped. He's right there. I can see his leg. And then all of a sudden I start getting low tone whistles. Usually, usually they go, but today it's going, maybe he can't whistle. I, th I think that's possible. I think certain ones, just like us, like, you know, some people can call their dog, they're like, they take their two fingers, like their thumb, they go, like so loud with their teeth. But most of us can't do that, you know, and maybe, maybe they're like that too. I, I hope that's on camera 
because I just got two whistles, and that's why I'm aiming the camera, because it could be center. And those are really close, you guys. They're really close, like right on the other side of those trees. Like not those back there, but like right here. Oh, tree knock. I gotta go up that way. I was going down, but I'm going up. There's something going on here. I am not kidding. And go figure, it's it's happening right on this stuff. Like, why isn't it happening on that tree? It's happening on one of their structures. Footprint. So blatant right there. Right there. I can feel you guys through your boot. You can feel the contour of his feet. Like you can feel the arch. You can feel everything. Because it's been pressed down so hard. Just now. Something's whistling at me from right here with a deer that's shadowing me. There's no way that deer went up here. Okay, because right here, you can see it starts going up right, right hill. Uphill right there. And right up there, it becomes a rock face. He, even a deer can't climb up. So why would he be following me? And why did he stop and stand right next to a bend? You know, that's so right there. I know exactly to zoom in right there. Just because of those two, those, I'm not saying I'm gonna get a face, but you know, that's where you'll get one. Actually, you know, there's gonna be some abnormality, some two leaners, there's gonna be something strange about it. Did you guys see what I did for, you know, 50 years of talking about the Patterson-Gilman film? No one ever circled the structures or noticed them, ever. <laughs> You know, and if you look, I took it down yesterday, but if you look at the pad, my, my pictures, you'll see, I clearly, everyone's worried about whether Patty's real or not. And trust me, I already knew it was real, but there's the structures. You're never going to get a real picture of a Bigfoot without structures nearby. It's like the structures project them there or something. It, it has something, there's something very important about them. And then they all, they, they all are just surrounded by... And I'm guessing they've had to move out of that spot because these, these guys don't leave their areas as far as I can tell. But I'm thinking that might have been a little different because even this day today, people are checking that spot. So I'm sure they've probably moved on. What is that? Please don't make me walk all the way over there. What is that up there, you guys? That's like way up on the hill. Some kind of teepee? Star TP. That's uh, 300 yards from here. Bizarre. Looks like it's all Aspen made too. That deer is freaking me out, man. He's, he's still looking at me. Let me see if I can get him on film. He's behind. I don't see him now. He's right there, though. I could, I could run up and scare him out. He's right. He's following me. I'm not even kidding. So you see the bend? He's right behind that clump of stuff. There's those two trees, right? Those two big trees. He's right behind there. Staring at me. I sure hope it has nothing to do with the Bigfoots and the deer because I'm going to have a hell of a time explaining that to anybody. <laughs> you got to be in here and experience that to like, I'm not even saying there is. Look at this in here. Whistles from right here. I hope it's on camera. It's going. Even with some air like that. Right here. I'm telling you, it was like right here. Right here. Freaking out too much over it.